of a hero. Well, it was such fun reading you the entire book of fairy tale that I decided I would do the same thing with my other book, Myth, AKA, There's a Werewolf at My School. Now this book is written by my brother Adam and I. It is also um, first person, but by a very different protagonist. Now while Sean, the protagonist of fairy tale, was very cocky and uh, lanky and, you know, forward and casual, Harry is quite the opposite. He's very introverted, he's very brooding, he's very, um, he's a bookworm, you know? Much more, much more deep and, and serious. So let's see, see if we'll get a taste of Harry's character and also of the book, There's a Werewolf at My School, by reading the first sentence of every chapter. Chapter one, I slide down our hallway, back pressed against the wall. Chapter two, the window jerks open suddenly. Dun, dun, dun. Chapter three, who would do this? Who would do this? That's what I'm wondering, Harry. Four. My mouth falls open so fast you'd think it was gonna come off altogether. Five. After spying on everyone's lunch choices, none of which consisted of bloody meat, unfortunately, I head to my table and see an emo girl staring at me from across the room. Six. I duck my head as we walk down the hall to the principal's office. Seven. I rush down the hall and bump into Sarah. <gasps> Not Sarah. Eight. The sky is colorful above me. Oh, this guy was colorful above him. I, I just didn't see the story going this direction. Nine. I step towards it. Hmm. I didn't know you could step towards the sky, but okay. Ten. As soon as I leave Dad's office, I rush over to Spade's house and rap on his front door. Wait, so his dad works in the sky or like... Eleven. That broken down hut? Spade growls, fear lurking in his face. Twelve. White. All I see is white. The end. <sighs> what a book. Can you believe that? But now you know the whole thing. You don't even really need to buy this on Amazon. Linked below. Thank you so much for watching the video. Tell me down below what you thought of the book and uh, what you heard of it. And subscribe if you want to see more from an artsy nerd like me stumbling through life, art, and geekdom. And until I see you again, always remember that we are epic heroes today and every day of our lives. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to hit the bell because Instagram is not Instagram. Instagram's stupid too, but YouTube is really stupid and it will not show you my videos unless you hit the bell. Subscribing apparently, I mean, it brings my number up, but it won't show you my videos, not unless you hit the bell. So hitting the bell helps me out a lot. Thank you, thank you so much. And I'll see you soon. Bye.